In the heart of Egypt's arid landscape, a groundbreaking discovery has reshaped our understanding of ancient engineering marvels. The recent unearthing of a long-lost branch of the Nile hidden beneath the sands for millennia has potentially cracked the enigma surrounding the construction of Egypt's majestic pyramids. This 40-mile ancient waterway, once flowing robustly past the iconic Giza pyramid complex, offers a plausible explanation for the transportation of the colossal stone blocks used in the pyramid's construction, a question that has puzzled historians and archaeologists for centuries. The sands of time have long concealed many of ancient Egypt's most profound secrets, Yet, a recent discovery by a team of international researchers has brought to light a long-hidden chapter in the story of one of the oldest and most advanced civilizations on Earth. The revelation of a lost river that once coursed beside the Great Pyramids not only captivates the imagination, but may also answer some of the most persistent questions about these ancient wonders. This finding, derived from sophisticated radar technology, uncovers new layers in our understanding of how the monumental tasks of pyramid construction might have been achieved more efficiently and effectively using the natural landscape to the ancient Egyptians' advantage. The majestic pyramids of Egypt, architectural marvels of the ancient world, have stood the test of time, their origins wrapped in mystery and awe. Historically, the construction of these pyramids, particularly during the period from 4700 to 3700 years ago, has been a focal point of scholarly research. Traditional theories posited that these structures were built using man-made ramps and a massive workforce, but the exact methods of transporting the enormous limestone and granite blocks remained largely speculative. The discovery of the Aramat River introduces a significant paradigm shift, suggesting a logistical efficiency previously unconsidered in historical narratives. Previously, historians believed the Nile's main channels were the primary avenues for transporting construction materials. However, the exact paths and mechanisms remained elusive, leading to numerous hypotheses but few concrete answers. The presence of a river running directly alongside pyramid sites offers a tangible piece of the puzzle, aligning with historical records of ancient Egyptian ingenuity in leveraging their natural environment for monumental undertakings. The breakthrough discovery of the Aramat River was made possible through the use of advanced radar satellite imagery a technology capable of penetrating beneath the Earth's surface to reveal hidden structures. Led by Iman Gonaim from the University of North Carolina Wilmington, the research team utilized this technology to map a 40-mile stretch of what was once a thriving river branch adjacent to the Giza Pyramid Complex and other pyramid sites. This method provided unprecedented insights into the geographical and environmental conditions of ancient Egypt. The significance of the river's location cannot be overstated. Positioned conveniently alongside the pyramids, the Aramat River likely served as a critical resource in the construction and daily operations of these monumental structures. Its discovery not only supports new theories about how materials were moved, but also paints a picture of a landscape vastly different from the arid desert that surrounds the pyramids today. The revelation of the Aramat River has profound implications for our understanding of pyramid construction. The river's proximity to the pyramid sites supports the new theory that ancient Egyptians might have transported massive stone blocks and other materials via water rather than solely by land. This method would have greatly reduced the human labor and time required to build these monumental structures, providing a more efficient and feasible explanation for their construction. The historical narrative of pyramid building is thus rewritten with this discovery. It shifts from a focus on brute force and massive labor forces 
to a more sophisticated use of natural resources and environmental manipulation, showcasing the ancient Egyptians' deep understanding of their landscape. This aligns with other known facts about their advanced engineering and architectural skills, further cementing their place as one of the most technologically adept civilizations of the ancient world. The use of radar technology in archaeology has opened new doors for uncovering buried secrets of the past. In the case of the Aramat River, radar imagery was crucial. This technology allowed researchers to see beneath the surface of the desert, identifying the river without the need for extensive, potentially damaging excavation work. The radar used in this project could penetrate several meters beneath the earth, revealing not only the river but also providing data on its depth, width, and course. This method represents a significant leap forward in archaeological practice, offering a less invasive and more comprehensive way to explore ancient landscapes. It also highlights the importance of interdisciplinary approaches in archaeology, combining geology, geography, and environmental science to build a fuller picture of historical contexts. The geographical analysis of the newly discovered Aramat River reveals that it strategically flowed alongside the major pyramid sites. This proximity suggests that the river was an integral part of the site selection process for pyramid construction. The river not only facilitated the transportation of materials, but also likely influenced the layout and orientation of the temples and associated structures. Furthermore, the geological study indicates that the river's disappearance was due to sediment accumulation and climatic changes around 4,200 years ago, which led to a major drought. Understanding these environmental dynamics provides insight into how ancient civilizations had to adapt to changing landscapes, further emphasizing the intimate connection between geography and human activity in ancient Egypt. The Aramat River, now revealed to have been a lifeline for the pyramid builders, was more than a mere utility for transportation. It held profound cultural significance, likely seen as a divine or spiritual guide by the ancient Egyptians. Rivers, especially branches of the Nile, were considered sacred, embodying the blessings of fertility and prosperity. The proximity of such a river to the pyramids could also signify a spiritual journey mirroring the pharaoh's passage to the afterlife, which was deeply ingrained in Egyptian religious beliefs. In addition, the ceremonial aspects associated with the pyramids, from processions to spiritual rituals, would have been magnificently staged with the river as a backdrop, enhancing the sacredness of the pharaonic monuments. This setup suggests that the river was integral not only to the physical construction of these wonders, but also to the ceremonial life that surrounded them, offering a scenic passage for the souls of the departed kings. The presence of the Aramat River alongside the pyramid sites would have had significant economic implications for ancient Egypt. The river likely facilitated not only the transportation of construction materials, but also the movement of goods and people across the region. This would have bolstered the economy of the area, turning the riverbanks into bustling hubs of activity, where trade and commerce thrived alongside the monumental construction projects. Moreover, the ease of transport provided by the river would have reduced the costs and labor required for pyramid construction, allowing resources to be allocated elsewhere in the empire. This economic efficiency can be seen as a contributing factor to the longevity and stability of the pharaonic era, underpinning the grandeur of ancient Egypt's civilization. Environmental factors played a crucial role in the history and disappearance of the Aramat River. Studies suggest that a significant climate event, possibly a severe drought around 4,200 years ago, led to the river being gradually buried by desert sands. 
This environmental change would have had profound impacts on the local ecology and the civilization that depended on the river. Understanding these environmental dynamics offers valuable lessons on the fragility of human settlements in the face of climate change. It also underscores the adaptability of ancient Egyptians, who managed to sustain their architectural ambitions even as their natural landscape transformed dramatically. This resilience is a testament to their ingenuity and their ability to harness and adapt to their environment. The strategic use of waterways for transportation and economic development was not unique to ancient Egypt. Similar practices were observed in other ancient civilizations, such as the Mesopotamians with the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, and the Harappans with the Indus River. Comparing these civilizations highlights the universal importance of rivers in the development of complex societies. The Aramat River's role in pyramid construction can be analogized to the Roman use of roads for military and economic expansion. Both examples show how infrastructure, whether water-based or terrestrial, was crucial to the administration and cohesion of vast empires. These comparisons not only contextualize the Egyptian achievements, but also contribute to a broader understanding of how ancient societies manipulated their environments to achieve monumental goals. The discovery of the Aramat River has modern implications, particularly in the fields of engineering and water resource management. By studying how ancient Egyptians utilized and managed their water resources, modern engineers can gain insights into sustainable practices and innovative solutions for contemporary challenges. This is particularly relevant in today's context of global climate change and water scarcity. Moreover, the methodologies employed in the discovery, such as radar imaging, set a precedent for modern archaeological and geological surveys. These techniques can be adapted for use in other regions, potentially uncovering more about our world's ancient past while minimizing disruption to the present environment. The discovery of the Aramat River has stirred some controversy within the archaeological community. While many scholars embrace the newfound understanding of pyramid construction, others caution against quick conclusions. Debates focus on the interpretation of radar data and the implications for existing theories of pyramid construction. Some argue that while the river may have played a role, the sheer scale and complexity of pyramid construction still require further explanation. These controversies are not just academic, they influence how historical narratives are shaped and taught. They underscore the dynamic nature of archaeological science, where new discoveries can challenge long-held beliefs and spark debates that drive the field forward. The unveiling of the Aramat River opens up numerous avenues for future research. Archaeologists and geologists can now explore further the extent and depth of the river, uncovering more about its role in ancient Egyptian society. Additionally, there may be other buried rivers or waterways awaiting discovery, which could further illuminate the landscape of ancient Egypt and its environmental history. Technological advancements, such as improved radar and satellite imagery, promise to accelerate these discoveries. Future research will likely continue to blend technology with traditional archaeological methods, pushing the boundaries of what we can learn about the past. The discovery of the Aramat River is not just a milestone for researchers, but also for educators. This revelation provides a tangible case study that can be incorporated into curriculums, from grade school to university levels, enriching students' understanding of ancient Egyptian engineering, geography, and environmental management. Moreover, this discovery serves as an engaging hook for students, potentially sparking interest in STEM fields through the lens of historical inquiry and archaeological science. 
By connecting past innovations with modern technology, educators can illustrate the continuum of human ingenuity, making ancient history relevant and exciting. The revelation of the Aramat River is likely to boost tourism to Egypt, particularly to the pyramid sites. This increase in visitors not only benefits the local economy but also raises awareness about the importance of preserving these ancient wonders. Increased tourism, however, must be managed carefully to ensure that the archaeological sites are not damaged by the influx of visitors. Strategically, this discovery can be leveraged to promote sustainable tourism, combining educational experiences with conservation efforts. With the discovery of the Aramat River, the need for rigorous preservation and conservation strategies has become more apparent. The potential for further archaeological finds in the area increases the responsibility to protect these sites from both natural degradation and human interference. Conservation efforts must balance the scientific value of further excavations with the need to preserve the integrity of the site. Strategies may include controlled excavations, the use of non-invasive technology, and perhaps most importantly, the education of the public and local communities on the importance of preservation. The discovery of the Aramat River has captured the attention of the global community, highlighted by widespread media coverage. This fascination goes beyond academic circles, tapping into the universal allure of Egypt's pyramids and their mysteries. The story of the Aramat River has been featured in documentaries, news articles, and social media, spreading awareness and sparking curiosity worldwide. This global interest is not only beneficial for the field of archaeology, but also for cultural exchange and understanding. It brings together people from different backgrounds in a shared quest for knowledge, emphasizing the universal value of our shared heritage. The discovery of the Aramat River is a testament to the enduring allure of Egypt's ancient wonders and the relentless pursuit of knowledge by today's scientists and researchers. It challenges established narratives and opens new chapters in the story of human ingenuity and adaptation. As we reflect on this discovery, we are reminded of the dynamic relationship between our environment and our achievements. Looking forward, the mysteries of ancient Egypt continue to beckon, promising more discoveries, more debates, and deeper understanding. The Aramat River, now revealed, serves as a bridge connecting past innovations with future explorations, continuing to inspire and educate. As the sands of the Sahara continue to shift, revealing lost rivers and forgotten paths, we are reminded of the ever-changing landscape of human history. The discovery of the Aramat River enriches our understanding of ancient Egypt and underscores the importance of integrating technology with traditional archaeology. It invites us to keep exploring, questioning, and marveling at the ingenuity of our ancestors. May this discovery inspire future generations to pursue knowledge, preserve our shared heritage, and continue the quest for understanding the complexities of human history.